Hello and welcome back to the Loud Mouse Podcast. I am your host, Quite, joined as always by FPS Diesel. Hi. And Wild Spartans. Endgame spoilers ahead. Turn back. Yeah, no. So today's epi- today's episode is going to be entirely dedicated to Endgame because this is literally just a fucking Marvel podcast. And that, it, of course, it's going to be fucking dedicated. So we're not going to hold anything back. We're going to let you know right ahead of time. This, this podcast has full spoilers for Avengers Endgame. So if you haven't seen it, you don't want any spoilers. Don't listen to this episode, okay? Yeah, Last- you've had a... You've, you've had a bunch of time now, so we can talk about it. Thor's so, fat. <laughs> well, you didn't give any, like, in-between time. Like, no, like, oh, no. Okay. Before, the, before we say first... anything else, this is your last chance to leave. Because Brandon's like, Thor's fat. <laughs> the first 30 Hold seconds dabs. was us saying it was a fucking... The first 30 seconds was saying it was a fucking... It had spoilers, all right? They got the memo. They, they should have backed out. I don't know. Maybe somebody's didn't. slow that's, to respond. Well, that's their own fucking fault, isn't it? Maybe they're driving. <laughs> usually I people... You, I don't know. When I, like, watch... When somebody thing has a spoiler warning, I usually look for caveats. Like, I, there's usually, like, it lists caveats. It doesn't just go straight into it. Well, I started off with saying spoilers. And then, and then I was... And then I went into detail... Thing. And then, like, before I could finish my details, somebody... Oh, said, okay, some fucking, okay, okay. Some fucking people just, post just, tweets just, just saying, just, just, there's spoilers, and then they just post the spoilers. <laughs> I mean, like... Uh, firstly, I want to talk about that. I don't know what the fuck he does, but there's this one football player who just posted the fucking ending of the movie. He's like, oh my god, they killed Tony Stark. Take Captain Are you America fucking instead. kidding me? He's a fucking idiot. I don't know who Why? he is, but I fucking hate him. He's Dude, a football fucking... player. What are you saying? <laughs> Oh, yeah, he probably, he probably has severe brain, brain damage. damage. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Not, what do you mean it's because he's a football player? Are you it means he has brain damage. Hello. Dude, they literally oh. teach you to ram their your fucking head in their chest. <laughs> like That's how they teach you to play. That's how you taught me how to do YouTube. Yeah, I mean, like, you probably have brain damage <laughs> too, but like... <laughs> <laughs> That's for unrelated, unrelated that brain damage, but yeah. <laughs> uh, what My brain else? damage is unrelated to you. Hold YouTube. on, before we start talking about the plot of the movie, I, what did you guys think overall of the film? Like, what did, what did you? I thought th- it was really fucking good. I mean, I the, I think loved it, bro. Yeah, I I thought it was really fucking good. The the thing is, like, this is a little bit about the plot. The whole like, the skipping five years felt really like just weird that's the best way to put it it like, felt it just, weird to me at the jump but like as it got into it, it it i was it was it settled in pretty well well it was just like it was just like okay like i i it was a re- it was really well done for like time kind of stuff because usually when they do jumps like that it's not well done and it's very obnoxious um but like it was actually it was well done in that case and as it went on i got more used to it and adjusted to it but like it was like a really big shift in the characters dynamics and how they are and how they work. It was like it was like a huge fucking shift in the span of ten seconds. Yeah, I think it makes sense though because like from that beginning where they literally just chop fucking Thanos' head off, like that was <laughs> that was so fucking unexpected. And then the five no, years later real. thing, it's like just puts it in your gut, dude. For like, real, I, no, I, I fucking love this movie. I've seen it three times already. I might Jesus see it a fourth. Christ, you've seen it three times. Okay, I've only yep. seen it once. I've only seen it once. Okay. I might see uh, it a fourth time in theaters. What, what is that? Twelve hours of your life, right? Oh wait, three nine hours, hours so nine far. Hours, Twelve hours yeah. will be if I four. Yeah, but, I, uh, I saw it. I saw it on the twenty fourth, like at the public premiere in London, and I saw the um fucking and double screening that shit was fantastic i fucking uh no when 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 that happened like when they were like we're gonna go get thanos the very fucking start of the movie i was like oh okay so some something's gonna happen thanos is gonna win nope i i, <laughs> I just, thought my no. I, I seriously thought based off of the trailers that my predictions on the plot were gonna happen and, and like nothing was the same no and, and like like the, the predictions i made were reasonable Right, as far the as only, you're, though. yeah, I mean, what, the only prediction. What, what did you I say had, again? Sorry, I'm fucking hazy on that. Um, the prediction I made was that Captain Marvel would be the one to do Thanos in, but like she would become a part of the team over the course of the movie, and like she was get in the movie for five seconds. Yeah, she was in the movie for like a total of five seconds, and she had like an awful haircut. Oh my god! Hey, don't <laughs> hate, don't hate. It worked. Oh it my worked. god, her haircut makes her forehead look so big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Diesel's fucking Hayden. Diesel's fucking no, Hayden. No, no, Okay, I don't like Brie Larson. Like, I think everybody knows that. I think there are much better actors that you could have cast in that role. Um, I think I would have preferred someone who's more comedy. I think Anne Hathaway would have been fun, but that's just me. Um, Personally, for, I it, think Robert Downey Jr. would have been really good in the role. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> they should uh, rehire him for Captain Marvel. Now, now, <laughs> hold on. I, I'm going to cause some conflict on this podcast, right? So, I thought... Endgame was good, but I don't think 
it met my expectations, and I don't get why everyone thinks that this movie is absolutely the most amazing thing to okay, ever happen. Okay, what I, I didn't think, it meet think, your expectations? It, it just, it didn't have that kind of, like, it didn't have the same kind of awe factor that I had going into C, Infinity War. And I think it would have been more impactful if I had saw Infinity War back to back with Endgame. But like, like I've seen both of them for the first time back to back, or just rewatched, or, them or just back-to-back? like back to back, like together as like a full piece. Right? Uh, yeah, that's Infinity War. Then that's you that's what I movie. did. That's what I did the first time I saw it. Like I went to and, that double screening. I was in the theater for six fucking hours. Yeah, I, I think that makes like kind of a difference for something like this. Um, it does because it, it, it's it's truly a two part story. Those two movies. No, it it literally is back to back though. Like when he snaps, and then you uh you fucking go to the scene. Where uh, Hawkeye loses his fucking family. <laughs> that, dude, that shit was like, what a fucking way to start the movie. It's no, like just I was family like, bonding. What the fuck? They, like, they just kill fucking kill them. <laughs> like, that shit was brutal. No, it fucking was. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> just kill his whole fucking but family, I, dude. I, I think I just left with like a better taste in my mouth from Infinity War than I did Endgame. Like, I, th- I, I thought like going in and like halfway through the movie, like, this is fun, but like, I don't think. I'll leave with the same feeling I did Infinity War, and then I got to the end, and I'm like, I left with the same feeling I did Infinity War. Mm. I didn't leave with the same feeling as Infinity War because not, Infinity War was leading up to Endgame. Yeah, yeah then, not like, the same. Sorry, not the same feeling, but like the same weight, like the same no, magnitude. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty fucking concerned what Marvel's gonna do now because they just killed off their most valuable fucking character. <laughs> they've killed off like as they've not killed off, but they've essentially like done away with two, like fucking Captain well, okay. America. Captain America's fucking, like, a 200 now, and Tony's dead. <laughs> well, okay, Captain America's fucking retired. There's no way he's gonna be able to do shit now. And then fucking uh, Black Widow is also fucking dead. But she, <laughs> she's still she's got to, still got a prequel, though, so, like, she's, she's still... She's getting being, a movie, right? Yeah, she She's getting a, a movie. She got Loki, snubbed. Scarlett Johansson's amazing as Black Widow. I, I am surprised she hasn't gotten a movie yet. She... Well, they got, they got announced a while ago. I just don't know when the fuck it's happening. I think it's coming out on Disney Plus. It's coming out. Oh, that's such a shame, I, man. I don't know. I don't think it's coming out on Disney Plus. It's gonna if they're making a movie, it's gonna it's, be a proper movie. I've seen a bunch of shit involving Disney Plus. And that's they, all, gonna talk all the there. but like the Disney Plus shit. It's like all the exclusive Marvel stuff. There is always series. It's not like movies. Real talk. Disney Plus actually isn't overpriced. Real it's talk. Just an, I don't think Disney Plus should be a thing, but that's just uh, me. I mean, it's just it's if, just if another a, thing I have to pay for. If which this is the was a perfect part. fucking world, everything would be on Netflix, all right? But it's not. Okay, I'm just glad it's not fifteen dollars to watch the Avengers. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's seven. I, I, I'm just waiting for fucking Disney to buy out the entire state of California and rename it Disneyland. <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of excited for the Mandalorian, but that's off topic because we're talking about Endgame. Uh, I mean, fucking, boy, like, during, like, the, I don't know, like, the time travel sequence, the specifically when they went back to New York, I think that might be one of my favorite sequences in the whole movie. I just really enjoyed that revisiting the first Avengers kind of vibe. It was fun. Yeah, I mean, I liked how they gave, like, they gave Iron Man closure. They gave Tony Stark closure, and they also gave Captain America sort of closure with the time traveling thing when they went back in town to the military base, because, you know, Tony Stark got to talk to his father and, like, actually have a real conversation with him and then captain america you know peggy is her name peggy yeah 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 so and then and then you know he went back in time and did the whole like i'm gonna have a real life which you know good for the character i like that uh he's old as fuck now though i didn't think he'd age <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I think if we're talking narratively i think um pretty much everything they like the passing off of the torch to sam like I, I feel like I haven't gotten to know Sam as much, but I think I need no, to go back and watch I, Winter Soldier and all that. Yeah, no, I feel like I barely know that fucking character. Because it, it's like they're supposed to be really good friends, you know, like on the same level Cap is with Bucky. I, I think that's what that's kind of going uh, for that dynamic. Nah, it's uh, like he. I think like the dynamic was that like he was always second to Bucky, and that's why his, Bucky's blessing meant so much. Mm. Well, no, he was he was always second to Bucky, but the thing is, is Bucky's all right. Like, I think he was more of like his personal project per se, like his trainee. Like he was training him to <laughs> be something him. great. Yeah, because like Bucky's already well diverse in his training. Bucky already has a fucking mechanical arm made of vibranium. You know, he's set. But this dude just flying. 
I feel I feel like the issue with Bucky is that he's a fucking mental like mess. He's a fucking mess. He is a total mess. I mean, he just lost his fucking friend too. Like he's <laughs> like, uh, like the thing is though, like I, I feel like um I, I think I I don't remember if I heard this in the video or not, but I'm pretty sure like Steve told Bucky about it and that's why he said, I'm gonna miss you, because it was only gonna be like ten seconds. Like for Bucky, but like he knew that Steve was gonna like stay and live his life, and that's why they were saying goodbye properly. Mm. Yep. I mean, real talk though, you could have just made him young again because and he just had how the time machine worked in the middle of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> he could have done everything. I'm Look, just saying. When, when time travel is involved with movies, like this movie knew it was a movie about time travel, which is why they spent time poking fun at it. Because yeah, if you nah, sit around right. and think about time travel and movies, it never makes sense. Like they, it yeah, seriously like, has it doesn't make any fucking sense in this movie. Well, because we don't know how time travel actually fucking works. Th- that's because... probably bec- that's because it probably doesn't. <laughs> okay, in in five thousand years when humans invent time traveling before we implode ourselves, mark my words, it will exist. Okay. So we'll okay, because the, the in five thousand years from now, the archives of the Lab Mass podcast will be listened to by millions, so like they can. Dude, like, what if well, they, they, are. Right. Well, what if right. they fucking are though? Like, what if this is archived forever, and they're just like fucking humans in the year two thousand nineteen predicted this shit would exist? Look at these fucking idiots happen? talking about a three hour long superhero movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like everyone now, just like it's a social credit system, they're all fucking miserable, you know. <laughs> See, what I thought, like, what I like was really interested in, like, you know how like they did that whole tangent where um Loki fucking like grabs the tesseract and just disappears. Yeah, they, people yeah. think Tec- Loki. He they think he's gonna live now because he's a tesseract. He can talk well, I mean, uh, what I I don't think he'll like uh, live on in the main MCU, but like there's he's been getting a, Loki a show, right? Scene. Yeah, he's getting a show, but I'm thinking okay. like, what if the fucking show just follows that alternate version of Loki? That's probably, probably what's gonna will. fucking happen. Yeah. Because like I uh, like they could have like including that was kind of like um that you could have said that like him getting the Tesseract was an excuse to detour them back to the seventies so that they could meet Howard Stark and shit. Um but like uh, aside from meeting Howard Stark, there was no, no reason it, to like, it, make them very go back clear in the past. That Howard Disney is like we're making this a franchise and we want to keep shit rolling. So that it's was like clearly it, deliberate. Like I don't know. It's like they said they want to sh- keep shit rolling, but I feel like this movie could also end as the cap off for the entire series. I, that's like, what I want. This I'll movie felt so f- <laughs> like I'm fine with more movies, but like I just don't. I don't know if we'll ever reach this peak again. I don't. I don't know either. I, mean, I don't, don't want to wait. How how long was it in between when? So Iron Man came out two thousand nine. Eleven years. Two thousand eight. I'm not waiting another 11 years for something important. I mean, you're not waiting. You're just you're just existing. The movie's gonna come out while if, you're existing. If, you're not yeah, gonna I don't know, Ben. If like if the movies are like stay good and I can, it can it finds a way to keep me invested for that long. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick around. No, seriously, if they can fucking manage to make some good ass movies with the characters they left, which like let's be fucking honest, this shit is scraps from the garbage. The characters they fucking left. Okay, like, we still got we still got Spider Man. Okay, homie. Okay, we still have a few good characters, but the problem is, is none of them are really leaders, and I don't want fucking captain marvel to be a goddamn leader she's a hard ass dude <laughs> fucking he's like no thor, fun, yeah. thor is literally still around thor is with the guardians of the galaxy and he's fat okay I, thor I, ain't I, doing I, shit i like to I, think I, that they didn't ch- tell james gunn anything and he just went to this movie and saw like oh wait thor's in, in my next movie <laughs> it's like, shit, dude, i he's can't like even scribbling dude, down on a paper <laughs> dude i can't even lie like i feel like the fat thing really paid off because by the end of the movie when he got in full outfit he looked like truly fucking nordic and i it got me so hyped <laughs> he got like, dead, you're fucking right holy shit but like but like i don't know just like the fucking like knots in the beard and shit and like just the way like his hair ended up looking by the end like that one scene where he was like uh just bashing with thanos and he was like screaming with his eyes like filled with lightning that was such a dope ass shot like i got like it was i was really so happy funny to see it. fat thor fighting on the topic of thor though thor's fucking hammer uh there was a there was a discussion i saw on reddit about it so uh they think captain america was always worthy and that he was hiding the fact that he could he could pick it up yeah hold on in one of the, that would it make was sense. like in the avengers right where it's yeah like, in age of ultron, ultron. Age of ultron. It, yeah, he age moved ultron. it no one else could move it I, he moved it but then he didn't pick it up and then thor like got all sad face but i think cap didn't do it because he didn't want to make thor feel bad I could see that. I mean, yeah, I, I, and that's I, why Thor said, "I knew it." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was going to say, can you confirm if he said that? Because I don't remember because I haven't watched it three fucking times. 
you come on, bro. You can't. You cannot get on my case for watching this movie three times. No, I can't. I would totally watch it three times if I didn't want to go to the fucking movie theater again and again and again. <laughs> I, you know what? I hate. I hate seeing movies with people like that. Shit is fucking. Dude, annoying. there were fucking kids behind me that were talking about Shrek, Fortnite, and TikTok, and they wouldn't shut the fuck this, up. This fuckface <laughs> vaped in our theater. Are you serious? Yeah. At the, the London fuck? premiere, there'd be these guys behind us that would talk all the way through the Infinity War. They'd talk through all the important scenes at fucking Endgame. I was this close to going back there and shoving a foot down one of their throats, but I was in London, so I, I I'm mean, not going to do I that. I don't know why you didn't, but, you know, they no, arrested so, you. Because I was kid, in London? One of yeah, the kids point. next to me was like, yo, can you shut the fuck up to the kids behind me? It was only ten minutes in the movie, too. Jesus. But, but, like, no, they wouldn't shut the fuck up. They kept talking about TikTok and fucking Shrek and Fortnite. And yeah, then one don't fuck, go if you go on This one talk. fucking kid was like 15 years old and he made the worst fucking jokes. No one laughed. He was obnoxiously loud and his fucking... He, everyone ignored him. Everyone, including his fucking friend group. He's so unfunny. I can't believe he existed. I can't believe he didn't get fucking snapped. You can't believe snapped. that was a physical person that existed. No, no seriously. It was so bad. <laughs> Uh, spe- speaking of, of Thor, this is going to relate into me complaining about people in theaters. Um, speaking of Thor, right? So Thor was that your theater? H- him really? being fat and being dressed the way he was for most of the movie, like, like the second I saw him like sitting in the chair with the sunglasses, I'm like, oh, this is a joke about the Big Lebowski. Like, this is really funny. Like, it, it, it was a visual gag, right? And then, like, at one point, Tony's like walking by him, and it was like, "Oh, move out of the way, Lebowski," or something like that. Yeah. And yeah. then everybody laughs, and I'm just like, "You fucking morons!" Like that was so easy. Like, <laughs> to be I didn't fair, think it was it's bad so old. funny when a to character be fair, says like, it. I, fucking bully me for this, but I I don't know what fucking Lebowski is. It's a good movie. You should watch it. It's with Jeff Bridges. Oh, the Big Lebowski. I'm yeah, fucking the Big retarded. Lebowski. Yeah. I'm fucking oh, that, stupid. That was, funny. but. I don't know, like, it, it was it was kind of tragic, though, because, like, it, it, it was played off as a joke for most of the movie, like, how Thor got to the point he's at, but, like, that was literally the cultivation of his own self-hatred, like, feeling like he failed after losing everybody he loved, and then, on top of that, failing to do the last thing when he was the person who struck what should have been the final blow against Thanos, and he still fucking won. No, I, like, I, I, I think where Thor is right now, he's one of the best written characters in, like, the MCU. I, I, sure. I, I agree with you with that, where this, like... Him, this tragic figure that like fall it, it's really good and it's really impactful yeah a I literal really god fell with people. a literal like god a, li- a literal god like he's like he's fucking struggling with the same shit i don't know how they pull it off but they make fucking like characters that are like literally god like relatable it's great what uh the, but the like fucking the story is god there's people <laughs> But, uh, yeah, fucking Wall Street I mean, campaign. Look, Wall Street they say propaganda. the same thing about DC, and that's why DC's bad, because they're too overpowered. But I it, think that's it, just I, it, had To, to be fair, it has literally, like, I hear people saying, oh, they're they're too powerful. Oh, like, it's they try to have nothing to do with It's too powerful. That. It's just it, that like, Batman pe- versus Superman suck dick. It, it has nothing sorry. to do with, it has nothing to do with the fact that they're too dark or that they're too powerful. It's just that they're not executed well. You hey. can do you can do a fucking dark tone Superman. You just have to fucking execute it correctly, which fucking Zack Snyder did. Hey, I'm just saying, uh, One Punch Man's the strongest being in fucking existence, and that anime is really great. Except for season two, it's okay. But um, there's so. like, uh, what was I gonna say? I don't know. I just like the conclusion to Iron Man's arc as a character was so fucking good. Yeah, that was, that, that was really good too. I, I'm I miss like my they, father. Like just they, all like the th- the big three trilogy had such a good like can like. The Iron Man and Captain America specifically, their arcs came to a really sweet end, or like at least a satisfying end. Like I feel like no, I had proper it, closure on those two. Like I thought, because uh, I kind of figured he was gonna fucking die in the movie. Like I also figured Captain uh, Captain America would disappear as well. Only person in predict was Black Widow because like both uh, both you know Iron Man and Captain America, the contracts over, the actors who play them, they're both over. So like I was I was kind of thinking that we're gonna die. Robert Downey Jr. also said before that he didn't want to end it on a low note. He wanted to end on a high note. This is his high note, so it kind of made sense. Um, but like. No, with uh, with Iron Man, it's like, I thought I'd be more disappointed that he was dead, but to be honest, it's kind of like, you know, this dude's been doing this shit for 11 years as Iron Man. It, it's like, it's about time, to be honest. It's like, like I don't, that, it makes that, sense. Yeah, like, when I was watching it the first time, like, that funeral scene, it was like, a really, like, so, like obviously it was, like, sad and shit, but it was a really nice enough, like, the <laughs> all, I was too, bro, like, fuck me. But like there was um it was like a nice send off like all these like all these people like who sprouted off of the original Iron Man saying goodbye like as a figurative send off to the guy who started the entire I fucking felt bad franchise. for the fucking kid in the movie though <laughs> like which kid, kid Morgan 
Yeah, this kid's five years old. <laughs> fucking dad's dead. Same, but like, I don't, I don't know. Too, it's like his, like, and her dad was like, like he, he willingly did it too, knowing it was the one way to do it. You yeah, think, and, uh, you think they're gonna make a movie with uh, Pepper Potts as Iron Woman? I think I, I don't. I, I she's totally she's in that. she's in Far From Home, but I don't know. I think she's a character that's like I think she'll be a, like a cameo type. I don't know if she'll be the actual thing, but the the person that's speculated to actually take the torch of like Iron Man is you know the kid from Iron Man three, uh, Harley Harley Kinner. He, yeah. He's yeah he's Who? in Endgame. He was at the funeral. Who? Yeah, no, he was. Who are Harley, you talking about? You know, Who in Iron that? Man three, that you know one kid, kid with that the fucking... fucking yeah, the kid that was like a, a smart kid with the fucking high PCI uh, potato gun. Yeah, he um met Tony Stark I have no in Iron Man 3. Clue who you're t- <laughs> okay, I'll have send you a not picture. seen Iron Man 3? Have you seen Iron Man 3? Yeah. You More know the fucking once. kid he meets in the middle of the movie that oh, watches yeah, over yeah, his when suit. He's like sad and he's like in the cold place. Yeah, no, yeah. that guy was at the funeral. So he was yeah. all grown up. That was him. I was like, who the fuck is this kid? Yeah, no, I don't I, think I, I don't think well. he'll take over for him. I think they'll like use someone who's already established in the comics, but that, that that is actually him. Like that was confirmed. The thing is, though, the thing is, though, is that I'm pretty sure he signed up for more contracts and movies. So and it so makes that no kid's sense. gonna be the new Iron Man. Well, it makes sense because like he is like a kid genius. He did make some pretty incredible shit with the fucking tools he had at his disposal. So it's like it makes sense for him to be getting uh, the torch. I don't know. I feel like the fucking who person who's expected to carry on like Tony Stark's legacy is Spider Man. Like that's what they built up they're over the last the few films. They're not the same character, though. The one of the they're, they're not. They're not the same. They're not the same character, and they're not meant to be. But they're like meant to be like the face of whatever is moving on, because that's what Spider Man was the before thing Iron is, Man was big. Well, okay, Spider Man. Spider Man's like he's a smart kid, but the problem is, is he doesn't have the current uh, knowledge to build the shit that he needs to build. Because like to take Iron Man's place, what? You no, he to... totally does. He literally designed his own web fluid. Yeah, with he didn't fucking make a shitty suit though. School. He fucking he designed he made, the, the original tech he needed to the, like dull his senses. The thing is, is there's a, there's he's a practical. Between, he okay. I don't know. I don't know this this MCU Spider Man's fucking thing. I know that the old Spider Mans they were equipped to do this kind of shit, but the new one is not as smart as the other. Have one, what? what? Have you, are, did you miss all the banter he had about technology in Infinity War? No, he's okay. He's smart, right? But smart enough to make a fucking suit like Tony Stark. Guys, this yeah, is maybe who does maybe when he's done being does fifteen, portals, yes. Like, there's a what? There's, there's a doctor who does surgery and also makes portals. Like, come on. <laughs> hey, he doesn't we're do surgery arguing. anymore. His hands we're, are fucked, we're buddy. We're arguing IQ level. <laughs> hey, I'm not arguing IQ level. I'm just arguing over, like, who's going to take the torch. It's good. It's t- fucking Spider-Man. They literally set him up to be, just, like, he's literally Tony Stark's protege. I think it's going to be, I, I don't know if the kid might have a portal, but, like, Spider-Man would make more sense. To be I, like but, the most impressive thing we've seen him make in the, the movies was a potato gun. If I was Disney, but he I was would like make eight. an Iron Woman movie. The kid was like ten or eight years old. Oh, we're like ten or twelve, but like still, he was fucking young. Like, what do you think Tony Stark was fucking making when he was ten and twelve? Particle accelerators? Uh, I forgot. They, there's like a Probably. list. <laughs> Give me a second. I mean, there's like he a also fucking, lived in fuck list. off like what Wyoming or something like some yeah Wyoming. <laughs> Like it was one of the fuck off states that no one talks about. I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I no, really no, no, no. Think... I think it was Tennessee. I think it was Tennessee. Assuming well, that Sony stays cooperative, um, which no guarantee they will, I feel like Spider Man's going to be be playing more you of know the what? head torch that, role. That actually is a really big problem. Because yeah, yeah well, Sony will just buy them. <laughs> <laughs> they, they won't sell Spider Man though with how popular MCU has made him. Uh, the, the, no, the it's issue like is, is say no. <laughs> no, the, no. The problem is, Venom outsold Homecoming. Oh, really? God, yes. you people have awful taste. Stop going to the fucking movies. Because no, it was China. <laughs> it was China. That's why. Oh, China does like weird shit. <laughs> no, they don't. Well, it's person translates well in China. Personally, I fucking love Venom. I know it's a shit film, but I love the movie because it's. I didn't shit. love it. I liked it. I didn't like. I it love it because it's like shit. the cold specifically flavors. because it's shit. It's it's like it, it's missing out. It, it, it misses the mark so hard. I want gold. You know, I, I I know a lot. Uh, thank you, for, <laughs> you fat fuck. <laughs> it just sounds good. I but it, if it. we're talking about in terms of like who's gonna pick up the MCU as like the main character, quote unquote. Maybe I I, I don't know. I have no the fucking Hulk. clue. I I feel like for people that they have like a solid grasp on, probably Black Panther. Black Panther. I mean him, him and he the had, Hulk though. The Hulk, Hulk took a leadership role in this though. The like, thing is, Hulk it. he had like a leadership role, but he can't fucking headline a movie legally speaking. 
Because Universal owns the uh, like fucking distribution rights still. Is that why? Is that why? I thought the Incredible. That, that's why. Yeah. Isn't the Incredible Hulk part of the MCU? Yeah, it is. But that was distributed by Universal. It was distributed, but who was it produced by Disney? Uh, no, Paramount at the time. Jesus but like, Christ. so like the Hulk it's can be in shit, happened. but. He, like, the Hulk can be in shit, but he can't, like, be in the title of a movie. Man, okay. Disney, you don't own enough of the media. 27% isn't enough. Uh, buy okay. more. <laughs> <laughs> Disney, what are you doing? I Disney still, literally I, is I, gonna buy up everything. Send I Mickey still Mouse can't, I into still, the fucking offices and buy Spider-Man and the Hulk right I still can't now. believe yes. we haven't, I still can't believe we haven't mentioned how fucking dope it was when, uh, like, during the fight with Thanos, how Captain America would just keep fucking bouncing, like, the... Shockwave shit off of the shield with the hammer. That was oh, so yeah. fucking cool. Dude. No, he's fucking. That was so fucking crazy. cool. I I love how intuitive the Marvel universe is with combining powers. Like they're so fucking good at, the, at that shit. It's not just slippity slappity sloppity boom bitty boom like in fucking DC. It's like it's God, there's combo moves, bro. There's combo moves. Like it's like Mortal Kombat 11 without the six thousand dollars you need to spend to unlock everything. What'd you guys think of uh, Hulk dabbing? I thought it was. I thought it was played I out super it, well. Yeah, it, could, it was like they did it right because they made it. They like portrayed it as a boomer trying to be cool. Yeah, to yeah, kids. yeah, that, yeah. That, that no, one I was exactly. Okay with. No, exactly. Because like they, they were like, yeah, this shit's outdated as fuck. That's why this old guy's doing it because he's fucking the boomer. I mean, I know that. I know that you fucking despise the Fortnite thing. Oh, that was so bad. I don't know I why you cares so much. I, I thought it. it was great. I thought it was great. No, I liked guys, it. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, because the reason I liked it is because <laughs> it's like, it's like, look at these fucking losers playing Fortnite. Like, playing that's Fortnite what it, five years in the future. Yeah, that's what it was like, though. It was like, look at these fucking yeah, yeah, losers yeah, it was, playing it was like Fortnite. For you, but you realize that, like, we represent the minority of people who have a very versed history in Fortnite. Like, yeah, we've been like, there. Yeah, I know. You know but like, bro, listen, they it worked for us. And dude, it's they also fucking work for the dweebs who want. They got it. They got it to say. They said sixty nine in the fucking movie, dude. Like as like an illegitimate joke. Like yeah, that's th- the best th- thing. Th- Thor heard. told some kid he's gonna shove his arms up his ass, but like, <laughs> yeah, then he's like, <laughs> go get your dad. That was fucking great. I, no, so, I, you know what, what? I'm saying I'm, is, I'm is choosing this... to just, I'm choosing to like not overthink it and just enjoy it for what it is instead no, of wanting it to be something else. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed the movie. Nobody sued me. I enjoyed no. the movie. <laughs> I, I'm, no, I'm trying to enjoy the specific scene, right? For but what like, it is. Here's the reason, right? So Infinity War doesn't really have like a scene like that, you know. But when you put stuff in the movie like that, you date it, and it's gonna make it age a little yeah, worse but, than Infinity War. But the concept is, is it's an online game, right? So it's like it, they like that was the scene. So if they just put like an online fucking they, game, they're it literally been like anyways. I, what I'm saying is, it just that there just shouldn't have been any of that. Like that just didn't need to be there. Something else could have been there. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, uh, fo- Thor. Look at we're watching football. Thor. Oh, we're watching soccer. Thor. Oh, we're watching. We're watching sports. It could, sports. 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 <laughs> it could the literally classic, have been anything. the classic of sports. You know, know a bunch of like overweight dads just having a beer. But watching I mean, like if you think football. about it, the experience of being fucking cursed on an online gaming originates back to like as soon as we had voice chat. Like no, it's just it, the game. It's that the changes. concept. It's not really the. game It's just that's the game that changes. Important. Like the game wasn't been, that. Im- it could have been COD. It still would have been funny. The like, game itself isn't that important. It's just the fact that like it's a fucking person calling you a deckhead online and guys, saying the n word. That was Fortnite product placement. <laughs> It was. Yeah, and it was uh, funny. Yeah, there was I, also a mis- uh, Audi. Fucking it was product like shit. Audi product placements everywhere. It was Fortnite product placement. I don't give a flying fuck. How it was funny. Fuck did Fortnite afford that? Uh, they, they, they probably didn't get that much from it. Honestly, it was probably just a mutual thing for including fucking Marvel in. Oh, a, you're right. The only people who lost in that Fortnite deal were the people who had to work seventy hour work weeks. Hey, that's every game. Oh in my god, so like, that's brutal. I mean, like Anthem had like hundred hour work weeks for some people. Uh, Mortal Kombat had like extremely high work weeks as well. Uh, you know, that's, a, that's you hear that? Ep- you hear that? Epic. You're only working eighty hour work weeks. Get fucked. You're only working for shit. I mean, it's a Jesus fucking norm Christ. now. Like for real, it's a fucking. norm. It's fucking terrible. No, that's a huge issue. Anyways, let's get away I didn't from like controversial the Fortnite topics. Endgame Back to Endgame. Scene. I've made my argument. Okay, I really do we think get it, Diesel. You're old. No, you guys are excusing something that is very just gonna. Blah, it's gonna blah, date the movie. Blah, blah, it is gonna blah. date the I'm movie. I'm excusing something because it doesn't matter that much, and it made me laugh when I watched it. Yes. That's a, not a fucking good excuse, Diesel. I'll come back to five well, fucking years. Why is it not a good excuse? I enjoyed it, so I like it. Okay, I'll hold you to that, Brandon. <laughs> I'll be like, oh yeah, Diesel, you know what? It is kind of stale, because it's five years later now! <laughs> <laughs> Most things would be stale five years later from now. But, fine, continue. 
I wonder I wonder if this movie CGI will hold up because Thanos looks fucking fantastic, but like by today's standards. I don't know if like how that'll be in five years. I mean uh I don't I don't know. I don't see it getting like drastically better. I feel like the only thing they would do is just like because like they already look really realistic. The only problem is is like fitting them into like scenes. That's when it kind of like can look weird. When they try to fit them into like a, an actual scene, like a car and shit, like that's when it can look weird. So like I don't know. I I don't think it's because it's really fucking good now. I don't think people are gonna look back on it and be like, this CGI is fucking awful. <laughs> like, they won't say it's fucking awful, but I'll feel like I feel like some of them will say like it the, the CGI aged, it like didn't age well for Thanos, and I'm like, it fucking this shit blew my mind. Well, just look at some of the CGI like from like just ten years ago. Look like, at the Hulk CGI, fucking like from like the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, it was awful. Fucking awful. <laughs> uh, the Hulk like, CGI from the Hulk. One Oof. thing I thought about though is now that <laughs> the one thing I thought about now though is that now that Bruce Banner is always in Hulk form, I'm like, oh, those poor fucking animators and CGI workers are gonna fucking constantly animate this fucker in the next movie. <laughs> they were all CGI shots, anyways, bro. Like whatever. Yeah. Now we're never gonna oh. see Professor Hulk bang Black Widow. Damn shame. Oh my fucking god! You'll dude, just see the actual off. Hulk. Dude, I was like, I don't know why, but like, there was just so many like little things in the movie that they did that I just didn't think they were gonna do, like, or I just didn't see them doing. Like, fucking, I didn't think they were gonna do Captain America with the hammer at all, which nuts. Uh, I didn't think they were gonna do new Asgard. I, I like, I was that was funny. (laughs) I was so happy with the new Asgard shit because that's like a thing in the comics where I think they settled on in Illinois. I don't remember exactly. I think they did it in new, new, uh, either New Zealand or some fucking. Like country and it would make more Zealand. sense for them to do it in New Zealand than. But like they did it wherever like Odin was in Thor Ragnarok. They did it in whatever country uh, Odin was in uh, Nor in in Thor Ragnarok. New Zealand, then I think it's yeah, New Zealand. Yeah, it was New Zealand. But um, yeah, no, nah, it was just, ugh, just stuff like that, dude. And I didn't think they were gonna do Grey Hulk either. Like, the, like all that shit. No, it was a uh, no. It was fucking like it was really fucking good. I mean, like the as I said, the only thing that like kind of was like weird to me was like. The five year jump and all these characters have changed so drastically. You know? It's like you kind of expect that with a five year gap, but there was like no progression I mean, at all. I, I, I don't mind a time jump. I think it like kinda cuts off like loose ends that people have like questions over because like you know, like Captain Marvel just shows up in the Avengers of being like, Okay, like you're the new guy here, stop fucking walking around like you have big boy pants, you know? Like that's that's I, I thought that was like oh this is a very interesting dynamic. She still has a like fucking ego, later. even though she went against Thanos and she's st- she's like she's kind of just an equal. Like, I that. I mean it was that part where it was like uh, Thanos like headbutted her and it did nothing. Oh and yeah, was like, oh yeah. But like I I think I think it was interesting because like uh, he did that, but he didn't just stop. He thought of a way around it. Like even if it like meant like sacrificing something like. So I think that His shows daughter. like even if even like if fucking Captain Marvel has the raw power, Thanos does have cunning. Yeah, no, Captain Marvel's kind of like ideology. It's just like I'm gonna run in and blow stuff up. <laughs> I, I, I do think if they do like or when they do rather uh, in the next Captain Marvel movie that it needs to be like her realizing you can't overcome everything with just like your strength. I I, I think that would be good. Like, you can't brute yeah. force everything. No, because yeah. it's like if Captain America was just strong and didn't have to, didn't know how to do shit, that doesn't make fucking useless. Yeah, like uh, like my mom didn't like how Captain America got old, um, you know, or like how he, she, or how Captain America gave it off to like Sam, like, um, and she was like talking about how like oh, but Captain America is taking like you know the super juice to be able the to super do that, juice, you know, but it's just like, but that's not what Captain America represents, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's like when when you're a guy like who hangs out with gods and like people whose tech can like go toe to toe with fucking Thanos. The super serum only makes so much of a difference. Yeah, it's more about sitting, the symbol you are yeah, for the people. You're just sitting there. there like I got muscle. <laughs> it's it's more about what you represent and your ability to lead. Yeah, that that's like Captain America's ability to lead is what like, makes him. Captain yeah, Captain America. America's defining trait is not the fact that he took fucking super Nazi killing juice. It's the fact that he is a righteous man who he's the perfect man who refuses to change his morals regardless of the changing world around him. So I, I didn't see Captain Marvel, but based off of that in this movie, what does Captain Marvel represent? Uh, she was she wasn't in this movie enough. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Aside no, she, from the fact that she is a girl. <laughs> 
Y'all know I'm the most fuck. Like out of this group, I think I'm the what? most lukewarm on Captain Marvel. I mean, what's her fucking? I mean, so you're asking like what her defining person? I think no, like is? in what Captain makes... Marvel, in Captain Marvel was about like not just like as a woman, but breaking out of the expectations of others of like wanting to yeah, please them. Yeah, that's that's what it was. Uh, but like, what does she see? The thing but is, what does though, she represent now? Like, what is she? Uh, I feel wait, see, like um. Okay, this how is how you, I how feel about mean? Captain Marvel's character. I feel like she's that friend of the friend group that I don't mind, but that I I don't know at all. Okay. That's how that's I, a good way I, to put I, it. I can't. I don't think she represents anything because this movie just wasn't about her. She should have been. But I, I, I'm just talking like in general as a character up to this point. You know? Up to this point, it would be breaking out of expectations and learning to become your own person who only like holds themselves to their own standards. And I think also, she does that okay. to a large degree. So not not holding yourself to the expectation of others. That's that's good. That's actually pretty good. I I do like that. What you said. That, yeah, that was her main movie, but like, I don't really, I don't feel like. But I what about her sequel? This this movie wasn't meant to close out her arc, though. She's got like two more movies, yeah. whatever other Avengers films come after. This was meant to close up the like original three or like the OG Avengers story. See, like with with Captain Marvel, so like with Iron Man and Captain America, if you gave me a question and I could predict their answers, with Captain Marvel, I couldn't. Like I, just, I, I don't know the character think, like, enough because I think those character flaws is what makes a lot of kind of like the most fun that that's why oh, for i find sure. no fucking, that's why thor's like, so relatable you that, know yeah and that's why like iron man was a great character because he's like this fucking like totally narcissistic character that's so full of himself to a fault then you know captain america the complete opposite so the, optimistic to a fault like the, that's thi- the thing is though character. like captain america is so morally like stubborn like his morals are technically right but like he will literally leave any group that he disagrees with like in the first avenger he would like fucking went against the direct orders of the army to do what he felt was right uh and fucking winter soldier he literally destroyed shield uh to do what he felt was right in civil war he, he broke up the avengers to do what he was right like he stick even if he was in the right in all the situations he will stick by his morals to a f- almost to a fault yeah. I, 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 I don't want to say it is a fault because I think he, in most of those situations, he was, like, on the right side of history, uh, if you will. Yeah, I think, I, I don't know, it's either almost or to a fault, but, like, you'll probably like this quite. This is a, so, so I said this to Reddit, uh, this is, like, so that's the from 2012 to 2019, and both of them were bickering at each other, I think, in the first Avengers, and then they both completely wiped at each other's expectations. That's fucking so. great. I love that. I love that counter- uh there is a this one there is this one like series like of like 10 videos that all came at once called one marvelous scene by a bunch of like video essay video essayist writers or like youtubers that i watch we and, should like, probably say what yes. i sent by the way because there's no content <laughs> so okay so it's essentially the scene from avenger from avengers one where it's like caps like you're not the guy to make the sacrifice play and tony's like everything special about you came out of a bottle and then it's epic screenshots from endgame where it shows them doing both of the things that they said the um yeah, other Iron, person was Iron Man snapping and killing himself, and then Captain to America say, wielding the uh, Thor yeah, sword. proving that like him his worth comes from his righteousness of character and not fucking the special big muscle juice law. I the mean, technically, technically, the big muscle juice also heightens emotions and your positive traits. So, it well, big muscle juice that. put him where he is today, but it's but not they had to is. be there for 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 them to be amplified. Yeah, 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 they did. So one marvelous scene. One marvelous scene. Uh, fucking, ha- I watched most of them on my flight back uh, from the UK, but they're like essentially just breakdowns of like a bunch of iconic scenes and like the different Marvel movies over the last ten years. E- each of these YouTubers picked an individual scene to break down and why it's like you know a great scene. Oh, it was Marvel like a collaboration. Universe. Yeah, it was a bunch a, of uh, film and oh, that's like, it, it was, YouTubers. Yeah, it was like they all released their videos at the same time and it's in one big fucking playlist. That's fucking sick. I need to watch this shit. That's fucking great. Oh yeah, you God. should go for it. Link it. Give me the link. Uh, let me grab the playlist real fast. Um, I was disappointed that Thor didn't have Cheeto dust in his fingers and his beard. Oh my God. Uh, uh no, he was... did. The, the raccoon, like Rocket said, like wipe the fucking crumbs he, out yeah, your beard. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I didn't see any though. You know, I was really hoping hoping somebody was gonna drop an f bomb this movie. I thought that would have been really funny. PG thirteen. Yeah, it's a PG thirteen. They got one. I fuck. think PG Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu won. is PG thirteen. They better say fuck once in it. Pikachu I better think, say fuck. Yeah, in that movie. I, I think they literally <laughs> Pikachu have better one. Pikachu better say fuck. fuck. I think they have one fuck that they're allowed to use. They have one yeah, fuck. They, have one they, fuck. They, they they said a few shits in like a like dickhead in like sixty nine. So I feel like they like 
Instead of saying one big fuck, they spread it out across other dialogue. <laughs> they spread their fuck across the movie. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it, it's like points, and like it's like they have a hundred points of cursing to use, and fucks like fifty, and they're like, no, we're gonna spread this shit out. <laughs> it's like that, like I don't know that one scene with like uh, the interaction between Tony Stark and his daughter. As little as there was, it was so convincing. It was really cute. That was it was it was very convincing. no that that was really good because it's like it's like you know like because based off the first scene in Infinity War, it's like they wanted to have a kid, at least Tony did, and then he had yeah a kid. and. That I just, I just I realized like right before we had this call, but they actually didn't end up naming uh, her after their eccentric uncle, Damn. Morgan. Fucking, Damn. I don't know. Just go to sleep, or I'm gonna kiss all your toys. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a, uh, it was cute. Uh, but fucking, hold up, what was I gonna say? Shit, it was about Iron Man, I think. Oh, fuck, Iron I Man, Thanos. Oh no, I, I was know. thinking it'd be funny if that like one point where Thanos pops and one of the characters just goes fuck, <laughs> like just a deadpan <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Break. <laughs> I think Hawkeye would have been a good one to use that for. Yeah, no, I, I he think would've. he should have gotten the fuck. <laughs> the closest we've ever gotten is Nick Fury saying "motherfucker" right before he dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is true. I mean, he's known for saying "fuck," though. I mean, that's one of his, like, one Samuel of his Jackson most famous be like, roles is him calling somebody a motherfucker. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Samuel Jackson be like, does Samuel L. Jackson like anime? Yep, in hentai too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fucking Samuel love that Jackson. clip. I love that clip that. so much, dude. <laughs> How old Long is live he? the king. He's getting old. He's like he's 70. He's 70s. No, yeah, he's because I know he's really fucking old, but he looks so goddamn good for his age. He looks the same as he fucking did when he re- like recorded Pulp Fiction. No, literally, he isn't. Like, uh, he, he's this motherfucker was born in. These days. Yeah, but he's, he's a, fucking yeah, he's looking a little 70, older. Diesel. He looks like 50 at the worst. Like, like he looks like a mid 40s, bro. Like fucking. Uh, this motherfucker was born in 1948. What the fuck, dude? He literally doesn't age. Like, what the fuck? He's like the Paul. He's like a Paul Rudd type. I wonder what Paul Rudd will look like when he's 70. Paul, Paul Rudd's 50 dude. something. 50. Paul Rudd's 50. Wait, Spe- really? Spe- hold on. We're going back and talking about audiences Wait, you, again. <laughs> you're serious? He's 50. Paul Rudd is 50. What the? He doesn't fuck? look at it at all. He looks like he's 30. <laughs> yeah, yeah no. Like the joke is that like he looks the same in 1990 as he does right now. What the fuck? Damn, okay, guys, dude. guys, before the movie, like, aired, or not aired, um, but, like, was screened, we, obviously you have the trailers beforehand, right? Mm-hmm. And yep. uh, we, had a, we had a trailer for the live-action Lion King, and fucking the crowd, like, in the movie theater was, like, clapping for that. I was just like, what the hell is going on? I didn't think it looked bad. <laughs> I mean, the CGI in the new Lion King looks amazing. I mean, it ain't worth clapping over, but, like, I didn't think no, it was bad. No, it's just, no it's just one it's big impressive... It's just one big impressive tech demo, but the ama- but the made up animal Pikachu has more emotion than the actual lion. Where'd you steal that one from? <laughs> uh, I think it was Twitter. I forgot who tweeted it though. Um, <laughs> but then like assume. there was also like a trailer for the I almost said the Rise of the Last Jedi, I, I, the Rise of the Luke Squ- Luke Squire, Luke Squ- <laughs> Luke Luke Squire. I can I tell you're so invested. Star- I used to Diesel be a has Star like, Wars. It was fan. the really Rise did. of. St- Oh shit! Skywalker. <laughs> Sky- I, was gonna, Skywalker. I almost said Starwalker. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that's real sad. Um, everybody clap for that too. But like Anthony and Joe Russo have like a movie with the guy from Black Panther. Twenty One Bridges. Oh, that shit looked good. Yeah, it looked really good. I, and I, was like, I didn't. Shit, I don't. Like I don't movie. think I saw that. I don't think I saw the preview for that. No, yeah, it was a. Uh, it was Twenty One. Br- it's called Twenty One Bridges. It was Twenty One Bridges with that I'm, stupid. I'm looking that, at the movie clips right that, now. I just remember one of the bad jokes. It's stupid fucking kid behind me that no one laughed at ever was like 21 and, and no one fucking laughed at him no wow. one not even his fucking friends i wanted to strangle him in that very moment 21 i was, I was like but, but like was nobody like, oh my god his like no, nobody clapped for that i was like oh that looks like a good movie I, i'll go see that you know <laughs> it's like and also uh will smith you guys see he's like being de aged for a movie. I fucking saw Gemini that Man? and I was like, what the fuck? Me, Will let, Smith let, fighting let Will Smith? This. I'm like, let what the this. fuck? Uh, hold on, someone's still. No, I thought, I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about it, dude. I thought that shit was so weird. I saw that trailer and I'm like, what? I was just like, what the fuck is this? It doesn't, it just looks like, it looks like they're like, hey, you know what would be better than one Will Smith? Two Will Smith. Fresh Prince Bill Air. Like, like, like two Will Smith. It's like, Fresh what Prince of Bill Air time. Uh, you know, like, how at the end, fucking John Favreau, uh, Happy is asking, like, the daughter's, like, what you want to eat? And she's, like, cheeseburgers. So, yeah. like, 
Over the course of the trip, Slazo, like, uh, he had just been saying hamburger over and over again, and it was really funny. Like, the hamburger meme, like, I'm going to McDonald's. Do you want hamburger? Yeah, hamburger, hamburger. 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 <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but it's, like, as like when he, like, when fucking the kid said cheeseburger, I saw him out of the corner of my <laughs> eye just looked to me, and I refused to fucking look back at him and give him a reaction. But, like, I fucking, I, that son of a bitch. No, I thought that, I thought that scene was cute because, like, of course he went back to like uh, fucking what was it? I, it was Iron Man one. He's he's like, I want cheeseburgers happy, and he got cheeseburgers. Like yeah. hamburger. Yeah, but that's the that's the screenshot. Yeah, fuck, I, I I saw that meme. I've seen it like four times. <laughs> uh, I've seen this meme a lot. Yeah, but, uh, hamburger. But uh, <laughs> if you scroll up, quite if you look up, that's the de aging of Will Smith. So basically, the concept of that movie is is they took Will Smith, which is like the bad, the best like oh, assassin yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever the fuck, and they made a clone, which is yeah, also yeah, Will yeah, Smith. Gemini Man, Gemini Man, right? And then and then they're like, yeah, two Will Smiths better than one, and it's like. It looks, that's the whole movie. It look, it's yeah, Fresh it, Prince of Bel Air, Jaden looks, Smith versus Will Smith. It looks so like it just doesn't seem like a good concept for a movie. Like it just. It, I would it, also it, like to say that my audience for seeing this movie clapped at that shit. <laughs> really? Yeah. They're just like, yeah, Will Smith. We love your vlogs. I, I, I think some, of, some people were la- like clapping ironically because one guy was like, "Woo, Will Smith's acting career." <laughs> No, but like, fuck, dude. I didn't. I didn't like it. No, I thought I'm like this is gonna be like dog shit. Like, we it just, it we just also got a trailer for Hobbs and Shaw, the new Fast and the Furious movie with The Rock. No, it's and, and there's like a whole like dance number he does in the trailer with a bunch of other like Maori people, and they all get mm. like traditional clubs and then go beat up Il- Idris Elba. Like, I thought you were gonna say elderly people for a second. No. It, <laughs> The trailer for that movie looks so fucking... St- that movie looks so fucking stupid. And I am so on board for how fucking stupid it looks. <laughs> That's all of the Fast and the Furious, though. Like, you go there just to have a good Yeah, but, like, time. the fact like, that, like, fucking The Rock is dressing up as Maui to go fight Idris Elba, who wants to blow up the world, is just the weirdest shit I've ever heard. Well, he's he's playing a different kind of James Bond role than I thought he would be, but I'll take it. <laughs> What about the fucking what about the uh, like? Oh, did you all hear about like the fucking like guy who spoil like was yelling end game spoilers outside of the line in a Chinese theater and he got beat up at like near to near death? That's that's fake. So it is. Yeah, that it's, same story has popped up for every major release from Marvel, but the same. Could have sworn it was like a fucking Vulture article. I could have sworn. No, I I I'm pretty sure. I wouldn't be fake. surprised if bloggers reported it as real, but it, I, I wouldn't be surprised real. if it was or wasn't fake. But I'm pretty sure it's fake because I saw a lot of contradictions to that. Like a lot. Snopes. Snopes. Might not be on Snopes yet. I mean, like, apparently it is because... Oh, well, maybe it is. Because apparently it's been, like, for every major release for Marvel and a couple others, uh, that, that article. Well, was... you guys know stuff like that has actually happened, you know, for, like, the oh, Harry Potter Oh, fucking of course, releases. dude! I would want to beat someone's ass, too, if they spoiled the movie I just want to fucking see. Would I do it? Probably not, but would I want to? Absolutely, dude. Holy shit. And you just... You get someone on the ba- on the wrong fucking day. You spoil that shit in front of them, they're gonna kick your ass, alright? Like, oh my uh, no, god. No, I think this one is real, because, like, the, this image might be from something else, but, like, the fucking... This... I don't I know how trustworthy these dude. images. I mean, their social credit. Probably this image could be but... from something completely different, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep looking. Let me like let me. Can I just like look up the article on here? It happened outside a cinema in Causeway Bay, Hong Kong, reportedly. <laughs> According to Taiwanese media, a man dressed in white who seemed to have just exited the cinema after watching the three-hour movie started revealing spoilers loudly by the entrance. Cinema goers who were waiting to enter the doors were fuming, and some reportedly went to beat the man up to teach him a lesson. The photo may uh, the photo ignited many discussions with fans claiming that he got his just desserts just desserts served or that they felt good seeing this. Uh, wow, uh, of, that's on, awful. On, on the topic of Some... people spoiling shit, uh, Apple. You guys see Apple that? spoiled the movie. What so happened? Apple News had a news article on the front page with a tombstone that read Stark, and it was Iron Man. Fucking retards! It was Iron Man and the Game of Thrones Stark, and it you know it's the whole art. It, so Game of Thrones, the article, the article right. was about how two Starks could possibly fucking die. But if you know what happens in the movie, you you shouldn't post that. <laughs> like, it, like here, let me fucking find it. Hold up. How are you? How are you so brain dead? Like I, fucking. I, I, I don't right. fucking know. You you work right for your job. I mean, it was it was right on the fucking front page too. It wasn't just oh like. Oh my god. It wasn't like you know out of the way. It was the first thing you fucking see if you go on it. Like, look, that's the image. 
Wow, literally. That's, that's also a really great uh you know thumbnail for an article. Totally. I mean, look that's weird what they all. fucking do now. They shit these out in Photoshop in ten minutes. Like what the fuck? And like they don't even look that good. It's the worst part. I know part. it looks really bad. <laughs> like you could have fucking you could have gave me some like you know not that. <laughs> I mean, no one else can gave see me it. Something else. No one else can see it, but you know. Watch the okay, watch it's time a tombstone, and there's two Starks on either side of the tombstone. There you go. Yeah, one's Iron Man, and the one's the motherfucker from Game of Thrones. I don't really know her name. because I don't I, watch, I don't Game, watch of Game of Thrones. I have no idea. Nope, I watched a couple episodes of the first season, and I was like, this is really fucking slow. <laughs> and I just, I dipped. So. I've never watched a single episode in my entire life. I mean, it's worth a try, maybe, depending on what your taste is, but like, eh. What, what I, else I have a hard about? time getting into fantasy stuff. What else can we talk about? With I have not watched Game of Thrones at all. I literally um, don't know what else to say about Endgame. Then it was no, we kind of just fun talked, time. We, we actually, yeah. We I mean, there's good. a lot of bits we haven't talked about. Like we very much glossed over the time travel a bit. We haven't talked oh, about yeah, it at all. Oh yeah, we're talking about that. We haven't talked about the fact that the Thanos, like the, in that movie, is like a, essentially a different villain than the one in Infinity War. We haven't no. talked about how Ant Man actually went up his ass. That shit okay, was nuts. So I didn't expect them to like actually do that. Yeah, so basically Ant-Man got in the Magic School bus and he went to Thanos' <laughs> asshole. <laughs> and it expanded. Okay, I was really I was really hoping we could twist this joke into something believable and baitable, but Brandon just immediately decides to fucking step <laughs> yeah, on yeah, it. I got you. I got sat you. through this whole podcast to hear us say what actually happens to Thanos and Ant-Man. I, I can't okay. believe that. No, okay, actually, though, dude, Somebody all the Avengers got in the Magic School bus. That's how it ended. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you so much, And Brandon. sadly, sadly, I Iron genuinely Man, despise you. Sadly, like, you make Iron, me want to die. Sadly, <laughs> Iron Man got stuck in the colon while trying to make a repair, and he got swept away in <laughs> shit. <laughs> he <got stuck laughs> sadly, in Tony colon. Stark got colon cancer and was diagnosed with a month left to live. <laughs> Oh okay, but the fucking time traveling. So apparently the time traveling, the quantum realm is going to be a huge part of the future movies. I don't know how I feel about that. Because now that it exists, time it's traveling like, is convoluted as fuck. With that kind of tech, though, well, it, to be fair, it's like a big part of the comics. It's only like it's just getting weirder and weirder from here. But it's like with tech like that existing in the universe now, it's like, how do you justify not ever using it again? I yeah, know. but like you could justify it with um, we're going to fuck everything up. <laughs> Like, you, but like in story wise, like if you're gonna keep doing, like if you're not gonna make movies about street level heroes, if you're gonna make movies on these people that have access to this tech, then like, well, the thing, what do you uh, do? The thing is with the tech though is like clearly it fucking backfired on them towards the end of the movie. Like, yeah, but that was like because of some extraneous factors. It wasn't like the oh, that's true. Tech itself, that's true. Because the fucking uh, Nebula forgot she had. A I mean, like like Rudy said, uplink. they could have just gone back in time. Five G uplink. Yeah, snuffed, it's, snuffed. Uh, baby it's like Thanos. The- <laughs> that no, fucking- that, that was oh really my fun. god, that, that joke was really no, because that's what everybody was thinking. Like that makes total sense. It's like just the way like he doesn't even say it. He just like. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, like he's know. he's just like you know exactly what he's doing. Like everybody in the theater was like, "Oh, oh, I have a picture of Baby Thanos." Actually, hold up, he's really a fucking picture ugly. of Baby Thanos. Yeah, it's from the comics. He's he's an ugly motherfucker. Like, look at that shit. Wow, I he's mean that makes ugly. sense. Isn't he beautiful? It says. No, he's no, fucking ugly as shit. He's not. <laughs> he's just a to little anyone, baby. Yeah, to anyone wondering what we're looking at, we're looking at an ugly Baby Thanos. You're welcome. It, it it's, looks it's like literally Grimace with like pimples. <laughs> it's literally just like fucking uh, Marvel's excuse to like do the should we can you kill baby Hitler argument? I mean, no, that, it, that it was, was really funny. It. No, it was really funny. It was funny. great. No, like, uh, but like, you know, then they just. I like, love how Don, Don Cheadle being the one to deliver it was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was really fucking good. Um, but then like they they broke all the fucking you know time traveling expectations. They're just like, no, it's not like Back to the Future. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, like that's always been like my like. Uh, like thesis on like time travel, like where you become unhinged from the uh, reality you were. Like you, the present, like the present is now your past, and the past is now your future. Because your old the in the present you went to the past no, as it, part it of your future. Sense. I didn't understand sense. what Hulk was saying. Like, I didn't okay, understand so either. If you at first, and I but like about so, it. this is how I've always thought about like time travel. It's like like people like the Back to the Future never made sense to me because it's like. How could shit that's not even going to happen yet affect, like, you being able to go back there? Because then you wouldn't have been able to go back and change yeah, the thing. Yeah, you change one thing, existing. you should disappear. 
but it's like what I what I I've always imagined it as like so you don't stop existing because some shit in the past gets undone because like you become a part of the time that you've traveled to like you're no longer a part of that future because that's your past now. Yeah, but is that what Hulk was explaining? Okay, like, so essentially, yes. essentially, what the Hulk was explaining was he, he was like, if you time travel backwards, the like the you when you go to the past, that past becomes your future because you've moved your life has moved forward in time into yeah, the past. You're, you're and the present that you left to go to the past is uh, now your past yeah. now. Yeah, it, you're, if that makes sense. It's fucking hard with all these tenses and shit. You're basically okay. Imagine this: you are an entity in your time, right? If you pull yourself out, you're still moving through time just as your own entity. You're not technically in that, like, region of time. Like, you're not supposed to be. So, like, the reason that your your past becomes your future is because you're just chucking yourself into a different fucking era. Like, you're still existing and you're still moving on and aging. Your time still moves. But you're, like, a separate entity now from your own time. And okay, you're, you're just one. aging independently of the universe that you're in. Yeah, yes, basically okay. you're a separate entity from time. You're not directly linked. That's how okay, it was. Okay, so that, that's why Captain America didn't instantly dematerialize when he ran into his other yes. reality self. Yes. Also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I fucking love the bit where he's like, I can do this all day. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> just like, he's that's like, he's America's like, ass. That is America's ass. That, that was host. funny as fuck, too, yeah. God, I love this movie. My favorite part was the Hail Hydra line. That was good, too. The Hail Hydra line? Oh, yeah, that was another, like, really interesting callback. Like, that was a reference to, like, the comics where it was real that fucking Captain America was a Hydra agent that people were pissed at. But it was it did it in such a way where it didn't undermine what Cap was originally created for. Yeah, they which did is it better nice. than the comics. Damn. No, that it, was it did, funny. There were just a lot of nice little callbacks and shit to stuff like that. I don't know. He was just like Hail Hydra, and he's like, "Oh, this guy's real deal." <laughs> so. I it, like that whole scene itself was a callback to the Winter Soldier elevator scene. Yeah, yeah that was I also know. Good. Yeah, like just reversed because Cap is the one walking into the elevator when everybody else is already there. Yeah, and he, and he knows what's gonna happen too. Like he knows that they're gonna they're gonna planning to jump him, so he just goes like Hail Hydra. We're on the same team. So and yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Then they're like, "Yeah, okay." I, I it, never got bored about this, but yeah. It was fun seeing, like, all the little details of what happened, like, immediately after that one scene before they go to shawarma. It's, like, fucking Loki messing around being like, I'm going downstairs to coordinate search and rescue. Yeah, that shit was fucking funny. No, uh, and, like, my favorite part is when uh, Tony Stark got a heart attack. (laughs) (laughs) And almost literally fucking died right there. (laughs) So, technically, a man still went inside someone when you think about it. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, someone who got to wield the Infinity Stones after all. <laughs> oh my so god! So I think I think circle. I think we really did get our meme. It really did come true. Except it was just, just the wrong person's attack. butthole. It wasn't even his butthole. It was his it chest was, butthole. It was a gaping hole. <laughs> it was a big orifice in his body. It was a gaping hole that needed to be plugged up. <laughs> this sounds real gross. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, all gaping holes need to be plugged with something. That, no, oh, they don't, God. Brandon. No, yeah, they, they don't. Do. I'll tell you that much, good sir. What That's do you not mean? How holes work. Diesel, this not Diesel. Brandon, this sounds like the beginning of a very weird fetishy thing. <laughs> no, it's totally not. This one every to go in my every ass. hole needs to be plugged up. I mean, that, that's Thanos's want. In a okay, ball universe. gag, motherfuckers, be like. <laughs> <laughs> every hole needs to be plugged. Oh, okay, my God. Yeah, yeah, go go Bush buy Bob. a couple bad dragon dildos and tell me how that. Yeah! Works out no! I heard you Hell literally just really said bad. all holes need to be plugged. No, not one with you... a fucking bad dragon! Okay, so a different brand of dildo then. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to fuck. Like, if I were to, right? A bad dragon would rip me in half, so I'll pass. Do you think they we come can get in different sizes. To sponsor the podcast. I mean, they follow us on Twitter. <laughs> they, don't follow, they follow you too. They don't follow me. And well, I, followed them them. I, f- I followed them, but they didn't follow me. Just tweet at them. They'll fucking follow you. Yeah, tweet at them. <laughs> I did tweet at them, but they didn't follow me. Apparently, the you like, should tweet at them and be like, "So you're looking to work with some creators?" <laughs> <laughs> I have you know, majority of my audience is 18 plus. They can buy your they can buy your merchandise. Totally not 10. percent Totally not. <laughs> That's. Could you imagine? I, I couldn't imagine like my family finding out like I have something like that. <laughs> Of a sponsor or the thing itself? No, the object itself. Well, that's why you don't tell your family. <laughs> no, it, it's like, you don't want to tell your family, like, okay, it'd be weird if your family knew anything about your sex life besides the fact that it has happened. Like, 
<laughs> look at fucking wood. It's like, it's like, yo, what's your kink, by the way? Oh, I love anal. It's like that's fucking weird. <laughs> to be fair, that's a to be fair, that's a very bland kink. Just liking butt stuff. Come on. No, that, that, that. That. <laughs> what do you want me to say? T- tie me up, fucking. You know, put. I don't know, fucking. Uh, sh- uh, pierce uh-huh, my Brandon, nipples, uh-huh. fucking. I don't fucking that's also know. kind of vanilla. I can't lie. <laughs> oh my fucking god! What do you? Okay, give me an example of what you what you would not want to share with your parents. I got that I got doesn't nothing. Seem I have like no something parents. you should say. I, I also I I'm not, to be fair. I don't really have anything to say. I am incredibly vanilla. I said, give me an example. I didn't say you give, need a fucking. I don't I don't know fucking being into a vor or some shit like. Oh, Vor true. seems kind of vanilla now that I think about it. Oh my god, shut We've been the fucking fuck ruined. Up, We've been ruined. You loving asshole, all right? <laughs> shut the fuck up. Vor is not fucking normal. Yeah, what? but like, it's, the, uh, it's what's a matter the f- of how much we've been exposed to, like, I, I guess, like, to inflation? Devoured, I don't know. Wanting to either be devoured or devouring a person and chilling in their stomach is fucking weird. I don't care what you say. That means people must really be fans of Attack on Titan if they like Vor. Wow, no, what a I, way to uh, end our fucking Endgame podcast special. Vor. <laughs> Why didn't Thanos we just use the Infinity Stones to eat the whole universe? I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't he keep all of humanity captive in his stomach? Stop. stop. That would have been a much better end. Somebody out the here. podcast. Right somebody now. just please out the podcast, dude. Um, we need to make sure it's over an hour. <laughs> any, 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 it is over an hour. Any, 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 diesel do it. Oh, okay. Um... This has been a Loudmouse podcast, the loudest podcast on YouTube. You can find us over on Twitter at Loudmouse underscore over on YouTube where you should definitely subscribe because we're the only podcast there. Um, also hit the bell. Uh, not to mention that we are on Spotify, Google Play, everywhere that podcasts iTunes. are on. iTunes as well. Yes, that is the place where podcasts go. Uh, go follow us there. Subscribe. Give us five stars because we're great. Um, in the meantime, <laughs> get out of here and... Yeah, fuck Go you. Go see Endgame again, I guess. Cause yeah, for the fifth time. Do. Fifth time. You fucking waste of space. Oh, damn. Okay, <laughs> okay. Okay, get out of here, lads. See y'all.